Why are they coming over here? Jake saw me! That's how you get low on I would think Jack, nigga, what am my mother, nigga? Cause look, bro, it's right there. Look, look, now they about to post up on the strip. That's how you really get low. How you get low? And now they trying to post up on the strip. Some low crib, everything, fiha, everything. Look, they right there, tight. Look, too much I'ma tase you. What are you talking about? But what is he talking about, T Mac? Dang G's the New York drill rapper who claims he started the whole Bronx drill movement. You started Bronx drill. I started it. <laughs> I can't say I started it. Feel my niggas, all my my friends, they locked up right now. Feel my hearts. We started this. When we started, that's when everybody, the whole Bronx. I'm the reason the whole Bronx lit right now. But before the video does start, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Because this is going to be a good video. Well, hopefully. And if it's not good, then y'all tell me in the comments what I need to do to improve it. Because communication is key. But with that being said, let's get back into the video. Niggas ain't giving me no numbers. Like, niggas don't care about me, my heart. Like, niggas really forgot about me already. Like, my heart only been like three months. Like, niggas forgot about me already. Like, that's crazy. Nathan was born on September 19, 2002 in the Bronx, New York. He grew up in River Park Towers, also known as RPT. Growing up, Nathan wouldn't really listen to music. His real name is Daniel Collins, but the name Nathan was inspired by Lil Durk's brother, Nathan. Nathan G's was well respected in his hood. He was also a part of the Young Gunners or the YG. I said RPT to YG, yeah, we on the block. All six on here, they looking for the clock. We don't talk, all we know is shot. Rest in peace, Mike E, man, my nigga got caught. RPT or River Park Tower is located in the Bronx in New York. The community has everything around them, so they don't really need to go anywhere. The gang members from RPT are mainly YGs and are cool with the 800 Mile Haven projects and are also cool with the Drillies. A few members from the RPT include D-Thang, Bando, T-Dot, E-Day, Use-Gs, and Shaw g The YGs were beefing with DOA, the gang that K-Flock was a part of. D-Thang and K-Flock were not only both a part of the opposite sides, but they were said to be cousins. K Flock was known for dissing his ops, and his cousin D Than was no exception. On the track Issue Ready by K Flock, he said, Who asked my ops to get ugly? I could do sh like I did to Sunny. D Than replied on Instagram saying, Can't wait to see Auntie now. I just did this Sunny. <laughs> Can't wait to see Auntie now. Huh. Just gonna learn today. I ain't gonna lie. Tell niggas stop playing with me, bro. Gangsta, bro. They would also reply in a song dissing them back. They were on live before, and D said he was coming for K Flex Man's Dougie B. Yeah, there's no more free Dougie B. But it's gonna be an RIP. Ah, yeah. There's yeah. no more, no yeah. more free Dougie B. I'm but it's gonna be RIP. What am I? What am I? I'm gonna stop talking like that. What am I nah, done? Gangsta, though, gangsta. And a few months after that, Dougie B was shot. But to this day, we still don't know who shot him. K-Flock and DOA wasn't D-Thang's only ops. He was beefing with rapper Shy K, also known as Jiggy Man, part of the OGs. Every nigga you know from the Bronx to drill rapper, man, I swear they look up to me. Cause they know who started this shit. I'm the face in the heart of this shit. Number one, I be feeling in charge of this shit. Shai K was allegedly shot by the YG. Ethan would respond on Instagram saying this. 
Mm. Yeah, we know. Where my mother we know? The beef between D-Thang and Shy K started when Shy K would diss Delilah. And if you don't know who she is, well, basically she was one of D-Thang's best friends, but she was murdered by one of her own friends. It all started when she was hanging out with her friends in an abandoned building, when one of her friends was playing with a gun and it went off shooting her in the head. Members of the blood she was with were seen jumping out of windows by locals, but allegedly all this was an accident. Cries from a family and a community in pain rang through this block after the death of 20-year-old Delilah Vasquez, who was found shot in the head in this apartment building. Now, candles and pictures lay here in honor of her memory, but residents are calling for an end to the violence in the street. Police found Vasquez in an East Gun Hill Road apartment around 10 p.m. earlier this month. Following the shooting, several people believed to be blood gang members were seen exiting the building. The gun was tossed out the window. Residents expressed concern over blood gang members taking control of the apartment building before the incident occurred. As far as the investigation goes, I don't want to get into too many details about it. Uh, there's been some, some arrests uh, in relation to it. Uh, the Bronx DA is uh, working closely with us, obviously. The death of Vasquez highlighted the surging issue of gun violence with seven shootings this year versus three shootings last year in the area and 25 shootings in 2020 versus 17 shootings in 2019. Rumors would go around saying that she got a back door, but only the ones that were there will really know what happened. But despite Shai K and Dethane being enemies, they both respected each other. Shai K even went on an interview backing up Dethane's claim, saying that him and Dethane started the Bronx Drill movement. If we're being honest, they were on some Tom and Jerry type of timing. <laughs> I thought this was me and D thing, feed D thing. We started this. Everybody else, if if you not was if you wasn't on his side, you will follow. If you wasn't on my side, you will follow up. Mm. Delilah wasn't the only person close to him that he loved. Cause D-Thang would lose his right hand man, Wu Lottie. They grew up together and Lottie was only a few years older than D-Thang. Wu Lottie was sadly murdered when he went to spin his off's block, but him going to Sugar Hill would cost him his life. Stop running, Wu Lottie! <laughs> It was said that the person who killed Lottie was e -Dot Baby's man. e -Dot Baby was a drill rapper, part of the OYS. He actually ended up passing away not too long ago on November 3rd, 2022. His cause of death would be a suicide, but rumors would go around saying that he got backdoored by his girl. But in a lot of these cases, we really don't know what happened. Like I said earlier, the only people that would really know what happened were the people that were there. Ethan would begin starting his music career in 2020. He dropped his song Caution and it would instantly go viral. His name would start to ring bells not only in the streets, but in the music scene. After the song did good he would give music a chance so he released a lot more music and videos and in return he would receive millions of views he would continue to grow a fan base when videos of him running down on us went viral yeah. what's up like money hold up watch this stop running stop running he running i'm gonna stop fighting now go to my mother i'm gonna stop fighting go to my mother middle suck my dick oh yeah mad we so it mad so bad oh yeah oh yeah what up what up what up what up Oh yeah, so bad. Look, you got 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 Ethan was about to go mainstream till he caught the attention of the NYPD and got caught up with a gun. Ethan was facing 115 years, but with the most recent update we got, he might be out way sooner. December 4th, 2021 was the day Ethan was locked up. He would get released on bail, but while he was out, he would get caught up again with another gun. He ended up pleading guilty, and at first, the charges were two counts of illegal weapons possession, two counts of controlled substance, and a count of conspiracy in a court order. While he was doing his time behind bars, he would get hit with the RPT indictment. On May 24th, the NYPD dropped an indictment that included him and 33 others. The arrest was carried out because it was believed that D-Thang and 33 others were involved in an attempt to murder, criminal possession of weapons, attempted assault, and animal cruelty. He was on live and said if 100 people joined the live, he would kill the pigeon. And when the live hit 100 viewers, they began to kill the pigeon with a pole. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that.
Your little mate's right here. Oh, where you going? Duh, wait. We about to drill now. We're gonna pick Watch him up. Watch his eyes. 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 Bro, what the f? Waggy. Ah! I can't look. Ah! I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. Ah! I can't look. Oh! 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 Ah! It count. Ah! What a watchy! What a watchy! What a watchy! Yo! Yo! Please do not do the body. Wait! But what the? But what? But he's really African, yo. In the indictment, he pled guilty to conspiracy. Ethan was also arrested while he was locked up for having contraband. You might be thinking that with all these charges he was facing, he wouldn't see the light of the day again, but no, it's actually the complete opposite. He has been sentenced to three to five years and is set to be released in June, but will most likely be out by November of this year because he has time served in Rikers Island. He's served over a year so far. Hopefully, Ethan's on his P's and Q's and doesn't do anything to get him in trouble. Ethan and K Flock are both currently locked up in the same spot and even made disses on each other while being behind bars. K-Flock, why you loud on the net, nigga? Son, I got hot me, you know that shit cap. And for what, we gon' get to the fact you saw me face to face and you wasn't on that. Like, stop the lying and shit. Every clip I was in, I stopped firing and shit, dummy. So I wanna know. Heard you got here like three days ago. Like, who did you touch? Like, who got? Can't talk too much, forgot I'm on his phone. Like, to the noses. Heard you went to the clinic and had that shit. A little saucer of like I had that bitch. But she gave it to you, nigga, had that bitch. Nigga, dumb. Now, when you walk through them holes, keep your. When you running on me, man, I'm running. I'm running my. Like, what am I, mother? I don't know why they keep saying. We got. Oh, bro. No. Like, what am I, dad? Like. Ethan was allegedly slashed and extorted by his odds while being locked up. But Ethan replied on Instagram, basically denying the claims they made. I hope when Ethan gets out, he moves a little more smarter because there's way more to life than just sitting behind bars. If you're on a grind peep game, I'm gonna be dead ass. When you're locked up, you're just messing up your grind, first of all, and you're missing so many opportunities. We live in a time where if you're in the right place at the right time, it could really change your life. Follow my Instagram and don't forget to like the video. But anyways, that's all for the video. Y'all let me know who y'all want to see a video on next. And with that being said, I'm out. So what's poppin', young boy? Come on, I'm a grown ass man. What the fuck I do for this shit, niggas? Ah, shit, baby. Come on now, I'm not even gonna talk. Run into the bag like a loose ain't broke. You keep a mouth shut. Talk, keep a mouth shut. I got my feet. How you want me and you doing when the team?